Okay, so the first question that I have to ask, okay, because it's an ongoing debate in Red FM is how do we pronounce your name? It's Chaya, Chaya, like tell us. It's Chaya. Chaya, okay. Yes, but I don't mind. You can you can say it however you like. And tell us like where did that name come from? My mum came up with that name actually. Uh, there's no grand story behind it. We were <laughs> trying to brainstorm names and she was texting me back and forth and we were looking for something that was kind of like Charles, which was my, which is my name. <laughs> and uh, she just texted me Chea one day and I thought, oh, it sounds kind of cool. And it's kind of like Charles. So that was it. I can't wait to say that to the guys now in Red FM because I think I've been calling you Chaya. Someone else has been calling you Chea. So I'm just really, really happy now that we have that done like in the bag and we know Dustin. exactly what we're calling you as well because so we are absolutely loving your music um at red fm and in fact i've been playing you a lot on my show and um, you kind of burst onto the scene with your first single so tell us a little bit about that song and why you chose to release that first yes that was the song that got warner interested in us which was really fortunate and something i had just been doing in my bedroom it was about missing somebody that you hadn't met yet. It was one of the first tracks that I really did all on my own. So it was a really nice step, a nice accomplishment to feel that I could do something myself without, you know, needing to rely on other people or ask other people for help. But it was so great to get that sort of self-validation, I guess, or self-confidence that I could maybe do this or maybe try to do this. So yeah, it was great. And I'm, I'm so thrilled that you've been enjoying it. Thank you so much. And I suppose for those who are just getting to know you, what is your background? You know, is music something that you're pursuing in the background for quite some time in the hope of, you know, getting a record company interested in you to get radio play? What's the story there? Music is something I've been doing for ages, yeah. My mum had me in the little baby music classes, but it wasn't something I really knew I loved until much, much later when I did the, the band thing, putting amps in the back of the car. And then I went to college for music and fell in love with electronic music when we all started going out loads like we Irish do. So it was an, more of an, an evolving thing and it's been part of my life the whole time. So I'm so thrilled that to be lucky enough to, to give it a go like this. And is it strange, I suppose, you know, getting that Irish radio play and a lot of attention off different people now and not necessarily being able to play your music at festivals? Is that something that you're like, I cannot wait to do? I, I need a crowd there for See You and Calling. So strange. So, so strange. I mean, I've almost forgot what normal life was like, Izzy. I don't know about yourself. I was around <laughs> at a friend's house in their garden the other day and I thought it was <laughs> so weird to see like six people in the same place. But of course, it's all about the energy that you feel when you're there with your friends or you, you can't replicate that no matter how good the music is or from your home or from your headphones. It's just nothing compares to the live experience and being in that club or being in that festival and just there in the moment with the people around you. So I can't wait. So you've just released your second track, which we're already playing on Red FM and Loving, and that's a collaboration with James Vincent McMorrow. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I was just really lucky to be put in a room with him. Um, we got together late last year and he was really, really kind to me, really, really not generous with his time and working with somebody who nobody had ever heard of before. So it was amazing. And I brought the beginning of that song to him and he added the extra special sauce and uh, thank, he agreed to stay on it. So it was awesome. It was, it was dream come true, really. So tell us a little bit about what that song is about and what it means to you. See You is about saying goodbye to someone or something, in my case, someone who you don't really want to say goodbye to. It's about all the music really is the I'm just trying to make it about those weird times in your 20s when you don't really know who you are or what you're doing and you have all these mistakes that you're making and things that you wish you maybe could do slightly differently so see you is just about the significant other that you wish you could go back and sort of do it a little bit better. Totally and that's so relatable as well and your, your 20s are there to make mistakes so 
you know, I don't think there's anyone that can say that they didn't make any sort of mistakes in their 20s. So I love that. And I suppose what's the, the goal for you, you know, coming into, we'll say next year, do you want to be playing as many festivals as possible, releasing more music for radio play? You know, what's the thing that you're like, yeah, I'm going to start doing that now. Gosh, is it really cliche to say I just want to do my best? I don't know. I, oh, uh, I love it. It's, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to assume that I'd be lucky enough to be put on these things. I just want to keep getting better, keep making better music and keep putting it out. And hopefully we can build something step by step and maybe be fortunate to be put on some shows next year. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to take anything for granted. So I just want to focus on myself and try to improve and... Mm. So. Well, I love that. And I'm so happy that we got to chat today because I love your music and it's lovely to be able to put a face to the name Charles, aka, am I saying Chaya now? Chaya. Chaya. Okay, we need to get this yeah. right. Chaya, Chaya, yeah. Chaya. I'm going to write it down phonetically. Um, Chaya, thank you so much for taking the time out to chat to us. And I think big things are going to come for you this year and definitely next year. And I cannot wait to play more new music from you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Izzy.